so let's make first one slip knot like this and here and just tighten up and chain now one two three four say so i have here total 31 chain and now i will start my first row to start first row i will add four chain so one two three four so this will be uh, four chain will be for my first row and now skip six chain one two three four five six so we need to skip six chain and now yarn over twice like this we are making triple crochet so yarn over twice on a hook and skip six one two three four five six on the seventh insert your hook and make over here pull the yarn and then yarn over again pull through two then yarn over again pull through two that's it now i'm not going to complete this triple crochet i will just leave like this and then again yarn over twice twice and then same space same chain same stitch insert your hook pull the yarn and then pull through two then pull through two now we have here three stitches yarn over and make three all together that's it so we done this and then after this make four chains one two three four four chain and then we have here triple crochet in this stitch on the next stitch over here yarn over twice and insert your hook in the next stitch here we worked already and in the next stitch make triple crochet exactly like we did so yarn over and then pull through two then yarn over pull through two now just leave it like this don't come don't finish this and then yarn over twice again here and same space same stitch same chain pull the yarn then pull through two then pull through two now we have here three stitches yarn over pull through all together three now we have something like this and then now after this just skip over here four chain we don't need to make any chain anything nothing just uh, skip four chain one count the next chain one two three four on the fifth chain yarn over twice first yarn over twice triple crochet we are going to make so how many we skip four one two three four on the fifth chain insert your hook pull the yarn like this now yarn over pull through two pull through two now just leave it like this again yarn over twice like this insert your hook pull through pull through two pull through two now we have three stitches and yarn over pull through three together here now we have this four chain after this one two three four and then in the next chain over here we worked in this chain on the next after yarn over twice and next stitch pull the yarn pull through two then pull through two don't finish yet yarn over twice again insert your hook in the same space pull through two pull through two and now three together yes yeah, so we have something like this you will see and now you can just complete this row exactly like this i'm going to show you with me you can do and just after this yarn over twice skip over here four one two three four on the fifth make triple crochet huh? not finish yet yarn over twice same space now yarn over three together here we have this now four chain one two three four chain and then in the next stitch over here make yarn over twice triple crochet 
pull through two pull through two then yarn over twice again pull through two pull through two now we have three yarn over pull through three all together and we are getting something like this and now skip over here four so yarn over twice and one two three four on the fifth chain i will make triple crochet don't finish yet yarn over twice and here yeah. now three together yeah now i will make four chain one two three four and then over on the next stitch yarn over twice make triple crochet not finish yet yarn over twice again same stitch now pull yarn over and pull through three here now and uh, i will skip over here four chain one two three four on the fifth i will make yarn over twice on the fifth chain make then yarn over twice again pull through two pull through two now i have here three all together that okay over here we have this now after four chain one two three four and on the next chain yarn over twice make triple crochet keep it like this then yarn over twice again here now pull through three together here we just almost complete now if you see we have here three chain left is depending how many flower you are making what you making but remember uh three stitch has to be left to make straight over here to both side has to be same and now what i'm going to do i will make triple crochet on the last stitch from here directly yarn over twice and the, on the skip two chain one two on the third last chain make over here triple crochet pull through two pull through two then yarn over pull through two that's it so this has to be straight here as well we have this two chain uh, we have here total six chain we skipped six so two chain will be like exactly over here we skip in the end two chain and then triple crochet same over here uh, two chain and that four chain will be count as a one uh, triple crochet that's why so total that's why i skipped six over here this line is complete now turn your work and the second we are uh, going to do second row for the second row make one chain and then on the next over here if you see here we make one chain on the next here this one this stitch i will make one slip stitch and first stitch i make one chain so i will count one chain as one slip stitch and on the second insert your hook and then just bring this so one slip stitch after sli uh, slip stitch make four chains one two three four four chain exactly what we did over here four chain now insert your hook in this space in very first over here this one insert your hook make slip stitch here just like this and then in the next uh, uh, stitch over here we have this um, triple crochet on the top on the chain insert your hook make slip stitch again so we are making two slip stitch and then four chain one two three four chain and in the this one first one first chain insert your hook make slip stitch one and then next over here next chain uh, this triple crochet one top here insert your hook make slip stitch so just keep doing this finish this row with the four chain one two three four insert your hook make a slip stitch then next chain next stitch insert your hook 
make slip stitch that's it now four chain one two three four insert your hoop next over here make slip stitch next slip stitch so two slip stitch four chain two slip stitch four chain now i'm here four chain one two three four here i have last this one I will make one slip stitch first sorry so, now make slip stitch one and then next over here we have four chain on the next chain just take this one make slip stitch here so Two slip stitch I did in the last now this row is finished and now you can just turn your work and you will see something like this now I'm going to make th here we have two slip stitch last and then and then insert your hook in this first over here next slip stitch on the second uh, chain make yarn over twice like this and insert your hook in the slip stitch the second one very carefully i'm not able to see even here if you see i just insert my hook in the second slip stitch and then pull the yarn and pull through two and pull through two now don't complete this keep it like this again yarn over twice same stitch insert your hook pull through and then pull through two pull through two now we have three and yarn over pull through three together now we have something like this two time now after this we will make in this space over here we have two slip stitch here one and two so first slip stitch i will make on the first one so yarn over twice like this and then insert your hook in the slip stitch uh, the first one we have two slip stitch here so first slip stitch insert your hook like this and then pull through two pull through two now yarn over twice same space over here we did and then pull through two pull through two now we have three together yarn over pull through three together like this we have something now and make four chain one two three four and then yarn over twice on the next slip stitch here we have two slip stitch so first slip stitch i make this one and now on the next slip stitch insert your hook pull through then pull through two pull through two now keep it like this yarn over twice insert your hook make triple crochet like okay now we have three complete this here we have something like this now and i'll make yarn over twice now just from here directly make on the first uh, slip stitch here we have here this one slip stitch insert your hook make now keep it like this yarn over twice on the same space here now three together okay now fourth chain one two three four yarn over twice On the next slip stitch here yarn over twice okay now three together okay we have something like this now now you can see our flower here six petal flower one flower is done 
so we just keep doing this finish this row i'm going to show you again we have this now from here yarn over twice and jump into the next over here we have one slip stitch first one make triple crochet and then yarn over twice again on same stitch like this now yarn over three together four chain one two three four yarn over twice next slip stitch over here we have insert your hook and make okay now yarn over twice same space okay three together here now yarn over twice jump into the next slip stitch here now three together four chain one two three four yarn over twice in the next slip stitch over here we have is that it's very difficult sometime to see slip stitch We are almost complete so now here directly I will jump yarn over twice in the first one slip stitch here three together that's it and here last we are in the you see in the last make two chain one two chain that's it and then yarn over twice and make triple crochet on here in the uh, next we have first single uh, st slip stitch one chain over here we started on the second row when we start second row we have one chain over here so i will make one triple crochet Like this okay so two chain and then one triple crochet that's it now we finished our third row yes fourth row we will do with the uh, three chain first so one two three chain because we have here half uh, th uh, two chains here that's why so okay, so fourth row we started with the three chain and then we'll make slip stitch on the first over here we have triple crochet on this one insert your hook make one slip stitch three chain and then one slip stitch three chain because we have here two chains that's why i make three chain and then next uh, triple crochet here make slip stitch so two slip stitch now four chain one two three four chain because we have here four chains so i will make slip stitch after one slip stitch and second slip stitch two slip stitch now four chain one two three four and the next over here slip stitch and then same next over here slip stitch then four chain one two three four next slip stitch on the next slip stitch then four chain one two three four and here make slip stitch and then last second one here slip stitch Two slip stitch and then make two chain just two slip stitch then two chain one two chain and then in the next over here make slip stitch 
so skip one chain over here and the next chain here sorry two slip stitch and then uh, two chain and after skip over here two chain on the third one one two skip on the third chain over here make one slip stitch like this we have something like this and if i turn now i'll start how many for one two three four fifth row to start fifth row make four chains i will uh, make four chain one two three four four chain and then yarn over twice and here we have slip stitch so just insert your hook in the very first one slip stitch make two two and then yarn over twice again okay three together now four chain one two three four yarn over twice on the next slip stitch over here just very carefully and now make yarn over twice same space two together here now we just keep doing keep going with the flowers petal and after this yarn over twice jump into the next slip stitch here four chain one two three four yarn over twice into the next slip stitch here okay so we are getting something like this and now just keep doing this row and finish over here and i'll show you once again how many chain we will do in the next line uh, slip stitch one then you can just uh, keep uh, repeating the rows so just finish this row i'll meet you over here i'm almost complete my this row now you can see the design how this looks and here i have last I make this petal over here and then I will make direct one triple crochet on the last here so for this I have to skip two chain on the last here on the last I will make triple crochet yarn over twice skip two chain and then in the last here we have this make triple crochet that's it now finish this row turn your work i'm going to show you last row then you can just keep repeating one chain and then on the here one chain i will count as one slip stitch so jump into the next uh, over here in the next stitch make one slip stitch and then four chain one two three four and jump into here make one slip stitch then next chain slip stitch then four chain one two three four slip stitch one two slip stitch four chain one two three four slip stitch then next slip stitch then one two three four slip stitch one and two slip stitch and then one two three four slip stitch one and next chain here make one slip stitch as well that's it so completed this row is complete now i'm going to 
make next row over here so i'm going to show you next row just make chains you just can repeat exactly how we did our third row yarn over twice and make in the very this this slip stitch and then yarn over twice make here just repeat third row now keep repeating now and here that's it and now twice and jump into this space make over here triple crochet then four chain one two three four twice in this next space like this so here okay this row i finished if you see here i'll make last triple crochet in this when you make this petal and you need to make triple crochet in the last exactly how we did in the first uh, row now we have something like this then you just make now repeat on the second row how we did one ch chain and then slip stitch so turn your work one chain and then next over here slip stitch then four chain slip stitch two one and two that's it then four chain just keep doing this now you can just keep repeating we are doing second row now you can just after uh, this exactly how make i'm making this one how i did second row then you just make th uh, repeat third row fourth and keep doing this and now you can see this is very beautiful design for summer you can make anything with this 